What's up guys, this is Billy here at Jess Performance. Today I'm going to be working on a 1970 Mustang. Um, it's not our usual build kind of stuff. Um, we're not doing any motor work or anything on this right now. Maybe in the future. But all we're doing right now is just going to install a bolt-on ride tech kit for the front suspension and then the rear cradle and everything back there too. Um, but right now I'm taking the top of the strut off over here and then I got to disassemble all this jazz down in here. Is it recording? Initiate time lapse. So I got all the factory suspension stuff off. That was fun. A lot of stuff was stuck. I had to use the air hammer a couple of times, but I got everything off. Um, I got to come over here and bust a sleeve out of this, drill some holes, and then I can put the lower control arm, um, put the upper control arm on, and then do the um, strut. I got to drill some holes for the strut too, but it's fairly simple. They have really nice instructions on these kits, so uh, hopefully it won't take that long. front bolts on these leaf packs because they're stuck. I can't get them out. He can get them out. This is Big Bertha. She's our problem solver. Update, everything's cut off. Now I'm looking at how I gotta put this big old cradle up in the car. I gotta drill about 25 holes and then bolt it all up. 
And then I gotta weld all the tabs onto the axle for the four link arms. Then put the struts on. So I'll be here for probably 12 hours. This right here is a good indicator of a bad muffler bearing. Notice all the fluid is stripped out of the muffler seal? That's bad. We're gonna have to replace that. Wait, we roll it? Yeah. Roll it, roll it. All right, don't be a jackass and weld hangers to the body of the car to where you can't take the exhaust off without cutting them, you jackass. Yesterday took a lot longer than I expected taking the old suspension out, mainly the leaf packs. It took me probably a solid two and a half, three hours just to get those leaf packs off because the bolts were seized and they did not want to come out. Um, after I got everything off, I had to cut the exhaust off. I had to cut a brake line bracket and just some little stuff just to get everything out of the way for this cradle. Um, I drilled all the holes, got the cradle bolted up. Um, and then now we're on to mounting the differential in here. But it's a, there's a straight arm on the lower bar, and then it comes in on the upper bar. So on this setup, you don't need a panner bar. So right now, I'm just figuring out what I need to do to get the lower arm on, get the diff up there, and then get the pinion angle set before I build the top arm. See what she looks like. Yeah, it takes forever to cut. It's a thick boy line. Oh, are you recording? <laughs> There's a bumper yeah. there. Alright, so we got all the front suspension kit all together. Um, I raised the front end up. Um, I got the back of the cradle on, the four link on, all the shocks and everything are on. Um, loaded the exhaust back up for the guy. Um, and right now, Eric's fixing one of the brake lines I had to disconnect because um, it decided not to disconnect and just spun and broke. So he's reflaring that so he can bleed the brakes again. We changed out the wheel seal, uh, wheel cylinders um, and the pinion seal also. I did that last night. Um, after he finishes that brake line, we're gonna bleed, bleed. After he finishes that brake line, we're gonna bleed the brakes and then um, take it for a drive, see how she rides. Yeah, so I got him fixing the brake line. I was gonna line. sing it with you. <laughs> got him fixing the brake line. Um, if you look up in here, you can kind of see the four link kit. It's kind of hard to tell because it's dark. Um, but I got the exhaust welded back up in here for the guy. Mint exhaust. Got the wheel cylinders, like I said. Changed out the pinion seal. Um, this whole right set kit, bolt in kit. You just have to weld the two tabs on the top up here for the upper arms. Um, everything else is just drilling and bolting. See, now you can see. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Hopefully this thing rides like a Cadillac when we're done. It never will ride like a Cadillac. Shut up, Eric. Don't ruin my hopes and dreams. So 
Smells like burning rubber. It's all over Billy's hands. <laughs> nice. That's the only time Billy can ever do a burnout is if he's doing it with a cutoff wheel. <laughs> You don't take shits here, Billy? No, I don't take shits here. I work when I'm here. I don't stand in the bathroom for an hour like Matt. Billy, that's a lie. Matt doesn't stand in the bathroom either. He sits in the bathroom for two hours. Four hours later. I just worked. Remember that? Yeah. That's this video.